This is a hole that's called the Wilkinson device. This long tube is called an Archimedes screw. It is a successful device used to raise water. In the Wilkinson device as a whole, the Archimedes screw is self-propelled. As the tube rotates in place, a screw inside the tube raises water from the bottom to the top of the tube. The water comes out here. It flows into the first bowl, then flows into the second bowl, flows into the third bowl, and then flows into the bottom tank of water. As the water flows from bowl to bowl to bowl, it causes these water wheels to turn. This causes the tube to turn. At least that is the idea. In reality, this would never work as a perpetual motion machine. First of all, this is a gravity-powered device. That means its power comes from the height alone that the water falls from. The water power falling in this stepped manner is the same as the water power falling straight down. This device would work just as well if only the bottom water wheel existed and these two water wheels were eliminated. In order for this device to succeed, the same amount of water has to be being raised up inside the tube as the same amount of water that is falling downward. This would allow for break-even energy. However, this is not possible because of the presence of friction which robs the process of energy. There is friction at the hubs, and there is friction caused by the water flowing into the bowls. This slows down the waterfall and robs it of energy. You can never make a successful water perpetual motion machine where its only source of energy is gravity. In order to succeed, you need to use two sources of energy. These are gravity and buoyancy. Gravity pulls an arm down and buoyancy sends it back up.